But what if you had two complex numbers and you wanted to multiply them by each other? So if you had z equals 6 minus 2i and w is equals 3 plus 4i and you wanted to do z times w. Well, again, there's not going to be any surprises here. Try it. You might need some brackets to do it. Uh, and then it's just going to follow all of the old rules. So maybe pause it, maybe try it. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to I'm going to do it. All right, so if I'm going to do z times w, it's going to be 6 minus 2i, and I'm going to multiply that by 3 plus 4i. And I'm going to use my, so it's a bracket times a bracket, so I'm going to use my FOIL method. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4i is 24i. Negative 2i times 3 is negative 6i. And this is the only bit that's going to confuse us. Negative 2i, oops. Negative 2i times positive 4i. Okay, so let's think about what that is. That's i times i. If those were x's, it'll be i squared. So I'll write i squared there. Um, and negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. All right, but what do we know? We know that, uh, I'm just going to write the rest of those for a minute. 18 plus 24i minus 6i. What's i squared? Well, remember that i squared is equal to negative 1. So this is actually negative 8 times negative 1. And this always happens when you do complex numbers because you've got the i there and the i there. So we actually get the reverse of whatever that is because we don't get negative 8. We'll get negative 8 times negative 1, which will be positive 8. So 18 plus 24i minus 6i minus 8 times negative 1 is positive 8. And then you group your like terms, 18 plus 8 is 26. 24i minus 6i is a positive 18i. I could have grouped those terms like here or here. I've just waited a little while to group them. All right, that's what happens when you multiply um, two complex numbers. I want to show you this because it looks a lot like a um, difference of two squares type uh, question. So let's see what like magic happens when you do that. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, negative 3i times 2 is a negative 6i. 2 times positive 3i is positive 6i. Oh, okay, you, that that's, looks familiar. So negative 3i times 3i would be negative 9i squared. And i squared is negative 1. So it's not going to be negative 9, it's going to be positive 9. What I've done is just sort of do those steps in my head in one single step. All right, cancel, cancel. I'll get 4 plus 9. I'll get 13. It's going to be a purely real number there. It's not going to be uh, complex at all. Absolutely straightforward questions. I'm going to do a third one here that will take a little bit of work. So I'm going to zoom in on it, and we're going to do it here. All right, find real z squared w plus imaginary z w squared for these two complex numbers. All right, so I'm going to sort of do this in stages. Uh, I'm going to find, uh, first I'm going to find z squared w. So z squared w is going to be um, z times z times w. So it's going to be um, 4 plus i squared uh, times uh, w, which is uh, 3 minus i. Now, 4 plus i squared is going to be the same as 4 plus i times 4 plus i times 3 minus i. Now, depending on whether you're, how comfortable you are with like squaring a bracket, you might not have to write out this line, uh, but I'm going to write this line so you can see what's happening. All right, so then we've got uh, 4 times 4 is uh, 4 squared, which is 16. 4 times i is 4i, and then 4 times i is 4i. So adding them together, I'll get 8i. And i times i is i squared, which is negative 1. And I'm going to take that and multiply it by 3 minus i. Now, don't do that until you've simplified anything you can. It's just going to make life easier. 16 minus 1 is 15, plus 8i. 3 minus i. All right, and... Multiplying this, we get 15 times 3, which is 45. Uh, 15 times negative i is um, negative 15i. 
8i times 3 is 24i, and 8i times negative i is a positive 8. I know that's confusing, but remember the i squared gives us a negative 1, and positive 8 times um, negative i would be negative 8, but with the negative 1, it becomes positive 8. You can put in the i squared there, and it'll probably make your life easier if you think about it. Um, 45 plus 8 is 53. Negative 5i plus 24i is, I uh, hope, 9i. Just a reminder of what I've done there. I've um, found this bit, z squared w. So now I'm just going to leave that aside for a minute. And now, so that is that. Now I'm going to leave that aside and I'm going to find that and then I'll add them together later on. All right, so zw squared, let's do that. zw squared is, so z was 4 plus i and um, w is 3 minus i. And I'm going to square that. All right, so I'll do 4 plus i times 3 minus i times 3 minus i. Uh, and I'll do these bits first because it's a square, so it's going to make my life easier. So I'll do 4 plus i, and that's going to be 3 times 3, which is 9, um, negative 3i, negative 3i, and negative 6i. And i times i i or negative i times negative i so i squared is negative one um it's going to be like a positive negative one so it's going to be negative one all right and again i'll simplify that nine minus one is eight minus six i and just working through that four times eight is 32 so i'll just use a different color there four times eight is 32 um, 4 times negative 6i is negative 24i, 8 times i is 8i, and i times negative 6i will be uh, positive 6, uh, because we get the negative 6 times the negative 1, we get positive 6. All right, 32 plus 6 is uh, 38, and negative 24i plus 8i is negative 16i. So zooming back out on what we were doing in the first place, um, I now know what z squared w is. I now know what z w squared is. Now I can finish it off by doing the question that I was initially asked, which is um, the real of z squared w. Um, I might just write it out of z squared w plus the imaginary of z w squared put my little put little things for the z's um, and so that's asking me for the real of um, 53 plus 9i um, plus the imaginary of 38 minus 6i all right so the real of that is 53 and the imaginary of this is negative 6. Be careful, it's not negative 6i, it's negative 6. The answer to that whole question is 47. At least it would be if I hadn't lost a negative, uh, a 1 here, which means that's a negative 1, which means the answer is, I was so close, 37. All right, so why did I talk about all this? What were we doing again? We were just multiplying complex numbers one by the other, and we sort of took it a little bit too far there. All right, that's multiplying complex numbers by each other.